I love mythology, honestly. I'm growing up in the Midwest. That's like all the fantasy I was able to uh, kind of draw from. So the Iliad and uh, the Odyssey, um, a lot of books that we had to read in school. I read numerous of times and I always wanted to be different gods from Apollo to um, Hercules, obviously. Um, and, and it's just, it's fascinating because everyone in that time period, I, I feel like mythology kind of started the belief system in gods and then that kind of branched out in different religions or uh, belief patterns. But for me, gods were cool. Gods were godly. Gods were something we could look up to and aspire and, and want to end up in Mount Olympus. And it just gave you something to, to put faith in. I love mythology. I love Greek mythology. I love all mythology. Um, and I've just been a huge fan of, of the Iliad and Odyssey. I read it, read both of them numerous times. Um, and I've, I'm a huge fan of Hercules. That's why it's such a dream job to play some, someone who I've just loved growing up and, and really loved uh, what he represented as a hero. We, we had the best stunt crew, we had the best um, stunt men and, and Kala, the, the horse trainer. So it's great to work on our fights and the month of May is all about fighting. We have some dialogue scenes, but we really cram packed all the fights and we have some epic fights and I love that. So it's really an experience in itself to learn all the choreography as well as continuously working on the sword fighting and the blocks and then after set going and riding horses because I have fighting on horses as well. So it's for me an action junkie. <laughs> it's heaven. It really is heaven. And it goes on such a man's journey that even mortals still to this day can relate to the suffering that he's had to go through and he's a lover as well with Hebe and when he loses Hebe you know it's that search the thing that keeps him going is the love to get her back and to to fulfill and complete his heart um he's he's an icon obviously you know so many people look up to him from within the script and then in life in general what he represents as the hero himself um He's a fighter, he's a believer, he's a dreamer, he's, you know, a hopeless romantic. He just is, is a man who, who has human traits and real traits that we all go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, the script is such an adventure in its own that when you read it, I've never read a script so, so many times where it's just a great, piece of writing that you go on an adventure like a roller coaster and you just get engrossed in it um, and and you get feelings or I get teary-eyed in scenes and then you get those that tingle in the love scenes um, and the romantic scenes and then when when he's fighting and he's called to action called to arms you want him to kick butt um, and the best part of this movie is the, the cast, the crew, everyone in general, because there's such a com camaraderie here. And every day is just fun. Everyone is so amped to make this movie the best that it, it will be, that everyone's just given 150% and makes the days go by fast because it's all about fun. And, and we all believe in the project itself. So it's really fascinating to be shooting in Bulgaria, that new Boyana Studios here, and the locations that we get to shoot on, they're beautiful. I never realized that, uh, that Bulgaria had so much beauty, um, and then the locations that we found just really make you feel like you are in that time period. And then what we do, like this behind me, it's the cave, and what the production designers do here just blows my mind because I've never worked on such an amazing sound studio or studio in general where they replicate the places that we actually shot. This was the cave that we shot to, to, to you know, every pebble. Um, so it's, it's pretty fascinating what they're building here. This is a man's journey. It is a younger gladiator and, you know, if you guys just, just want to go on an adventure of a ride, 
and just be on the edge of your seats and you get to put those glasses on and you have stuff in front of your face. Check it out. You won't, you won't, uh, you won't be let down. It starts as a youthful, youthful kid. Gets enslaved and that's when his journey gets kicked off to become the man that he is promised to be on his journey at the end of it. And he accepts his responsibility as the Robin Hood to the people and to fight injustice with justice. And just to bring, bring honor to his mother, his loved ones, the good people of his town and to take his rightful place as a demigod. And working with Rennie, who he's the leader of this massive ship. And as much as he is authoritative, he, he knows exactly what he wants. So there's no wasted time. And he leads the ship with compassion, with openness, with love and respect to everyone. So I think everyone just wants to prove to him that they appreciate the opportunity to work on this movie. So everyone's giving 150%, he's giving 200%. So already, like, Everyone's in the right mindset every single day.